iOS 17 has arrived and brings lots of new features to the iPhone. You've probably seen standby mode and contact posters, but this update also includes some lesser known features that, in my humble opinion, are equally as cool. You don't need a new iPhone 15 to try iOS 17. For a step-by-step -step guide on how to download and install iOS 17, as well as a list of compatible phones, check out the CNET article linked in the description. And before you update, be sure to back up your iPhone to keep all of your data secure. Now that we've gotten those logistics out of the way, let's take a look at the new features. I've organized them by category and chapters are enabled, so feel free to skip around. You're probably familiar with the visual lookup tool built into the Photos app. It can identify words and objects in your pictures and give you information about them. And it's gotten even smarter with iOS 17. I definitely could have used this feature to save some clothes in the past. You can now use visual lookup to figure out what the laundry codes on your clothing tags mean. Start by taking a clear photo of the tag with the laundry symbols. Then go into the Photos app, find that image, and swipe up. Next, select Look Up Laundry Care, and the results will show what each recognized laundry symbol means. I was today years old when I found out that symbol means do not bleach. There is nothing like taking a long drive to clear your mind, but the vibes can be instantly ruined when you see an unfamiliar light pop up on your dash and have no idea whether it's urgent or not. But don't worry, Visual Lookup can help here too. You can now use the tool to analyze any possible warning lights on your car's dash. Again, just take a clear photo of the dashboard light, find the image in the Photos app, and swipe up. Then select Lookup Auto Symbol to learn more about what the dash light means. Speaking of photos, let's go over some updates that will make taking and editing your pictures even easier. First, the camera app has an updated level tool. In the new level tool, a broken white line appears if your shot is almost level, but not quite. A continuous yellow line means your shot is level. And if your phone thinks you're tilting your shot on purpose, no line will appear. To enable this tool, open the settings app, scroll down to camera, and then toggle on level. This next feature makes cropping your photos even more intuitive. Just open a photo, zoom in on your ideal framing, and press the crop button in the top right hand corner of the screen. Then you can either continue cropping the photo or press done if you're happy with how it looks. I love going to beaches or hiking trails to unwind, but without fail, I always lose service on the way there or the way back, or both and then I have to guess my way through the rest of the navigation, which sort of distracts from the whole unwinding thing. Apple Maps on iOS 17 offers a new feature to solve this problem. You can now download and use offline maps. That way you can navigate even if you lose internet. Google Maps already has this feature, so it's about time Apple implemented it. Before you start your trip, open the Maps app, tap your profile icon on the right side of the screen, and select Offline Maps. Then tap Download New Map, adjust the map to the area you'd like to be able to navigate offline, and select Download. Now you'll be able to grab directions within this area, even without service. It seems like practically every app requires two-factor authentication for sign-in nowadays. For that reason, I am a huge fan of being able to autofill text verification codes from my keyboard. But I've still been stuck memorizing and manually typing in verification codes sent by email. That is, until today. With iOS 17, you can now autofill email verification codes as well. You just need to make sure to set up your email with Apple's Mail app. All of these verification codes can really clutter up your text messages and email, and manually deleting all of them is cumbersome. Lucky for us, iOS 17 has a new setting that auto-deletes these codes after you've entered them. To enable it, go to the Settings app, scroll down to Passwords, and then select Password Options. Then toggle on the new Cleanup Automatically setting, and the codes will auto-delete after being used. Speaking of codes, have you ever set a new iPhone passcode only to forget it a day later? If so, you are not alone. Pre-iOS 17, the only way to get back into your iPhone in this case was to completely wipe it. But with the update, you now have 48 hours to use your old passcode even after creating a new one. But you can only use the old passcode for two days, so if you don't remember the new one, get back into your phone and change it ASAP. If you enter the incorrect code enough times that your phone becomes unavailable, you can tap Forgot Passcode in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, enter your old code, and set a new one. This is especially useful if you don't have Face ID enabled to unlock your phone. 
These last two features don't quite fit as easily into one category. The best way I can describe them is they're all things that just make sense. Each of them feels like something we should have had all along, and I am very happy we have them now. First, iOS 17 allows you to set various timers simultaneously, which now that I think about it, is going to be so helpful for things like cooking. Just open the clock app, go to the timer section, customize your first timer, and then select start. And voila, your first timer is live and you can add more by pressing the plus button in the upper right hand corner. You can also delete timers by swiping left on them. Finally, when you're writing a note in the notes app, you can now link to another note. Just long press while typing, then select add link and search the name of the note you want to link and then select done. Tapping the link will lead you to the other note. You can even add links to specific words by selecting them and tapping add link. Those are my personal favorite hidden gems of iOS 17. What are your favorite iOS 17 features? Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.